Lesson 5 starts on page 17 and it has two parts. The first part is on ordinal numbers and the second part is on months of the year. Well, to understand ordinal numbers, look at the circles that I have on the board. Now we've learned about counting numbers. We know that counting numbers, those start with 1 and we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if we want to locate the position like of the red circle in that group of circles there, we'd say that red circle is the fourth circle. We wouldn't say that is the four circle. We'd say it's the fourth circle. We'd say the blue circle, that one is the first circle in that group of circles. And then the green, or I'm sorry, the yellow circle, that one's called the second circle. Now we use the word two if we were describing this circle and that circle. We'd say that there were two circles there. And we don't say the tooth circle, we say the second circle. The third circle is just a clear circle. It has a white border. And the fifth and the sixth circles in that group of circles are also clear. So ordinal numbers, those are just a different name for a number. We use that to represent the position of that number. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, thirteenth, fourteenth, so on. Numbers like that. Let's do a practice problem using ordinal numbers. Jim was fourth in line and Marty was fifteenth in line. How many people were between them? Now, just so you know, I don't expect you to write down that problem. You can just do the answer, work on the answer. Now, the best way to do this problem to make sure you don't make a mistake on it is to draw yourself a diagram. And you could try to do it in your head. You could think, well, start counting with the fifth person and say fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. And so there would be ten people in between Jim and Marty. But like I said, the best way to make sure that you get this right is to draw yourself a diagram. And so let's just use circles and we'll say Jim is right here. And so he's the fourth person. So we think fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. And then here's Marty, fifteenth. And so where I'm putting these dashed lines, that's the people in between them. And we just count those up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so 10, we could even say 10 people, since we're talking about people, we could use that for our answer. 10 people are between the two of them. Well, now let's look at page 16 and, and talk about months of the year. We can use ordinal numbers to help us understand the months of the year. For example, the first month of the year is January. The twelfth month of the year is December. And that table shows you the order of the months and then how many days are in each month. Notice February has 28 or 29 days, depending on whether or not it's a leap year or not. So make sure you memorize that table on page 16. Now, a lot of times when we write dates, we write down using a month, day, year format. And we show the month first, and we put a slash, the day, another slash, and then the year. For example, my birthday is in the 12th month, on the 24th day of that month, and then 1965 is the year. Sometimes you abbreviate the year, you just say 12, 24, 65, like that. What I want you to do now is write your birth date down using the month, day, year format. So write your birth date down with the month, day, year format, and that will be all for Lesson 5.